Toki, hello. Yesterday we looked at yes-no questions, and today we're just going to expand that a bit. Here's the vocab. Not much, isn't it? Well, from now on there won't be much, except in one more lesson to come later. But don't worry, as foreseeably, nothing will be as much as that compound lesson. Now, focus on seme. Yesterday we looked at yan ala and yan ali. Can you guess yan seme? Which person, or in other words, who? Yan seme li moku ekili mi? Who ate my fruit? Tan seme is what reason or why? Sina moku ekili mi tan seme. Why did you eat my fruit? Lon seme is which existence or where? Kili mi li lon seme? Where is my fruit? Who, why, and where? All easy enough. When and how will come later. As for what and which, here's how you say them. Seme on its own is what? Seme li lon in sasina? What is inside you? You can also add seme to the thing to say what or which. Sina kepiken e ilo seme? What or which tool are you using? That's all for seme. Now let's look at olin. You may be thinking that I cheated you with the whole There's no verb to like in Tokipona. Well, there isn't. Olin is not used for things. It's used for when you're speaking only about a partner or lover. As in, Yan seme li olin emi? Who loves me? On to supa. Supa is really just furniture. But here's a common compound word for you. Supa lape. It means bed. On to sui. Sui is just sui, but if you've checked the compound word list for listen to, you'll know about good looking and bad looking or ugly. You can also say sui looking, sweet looking. Last word, sin. A good example of sin is ona li wile e sui sin. She wants more candy, or she wants new candy. But it's really not so ambiguous once you get the knack and have context. Learn the vocab and do your homework. Mitawa, bye!